Hello everyone and thanks for visiting Bluebeam Back to Basics. Today we'll be talking about digital dashboards. For those of you I have not met personally, you can reach me at that phone number and email address and we encourage you to visit our website where you can learn all about our Bluebeam training program. A lot of people are intimidated by creating a Bluebeam digital dashboard. I've seen some pretty impressive ones, and I get it, but when you boil them down to their essence, they're all just a PDF file with a bunch of hyperlinks. So don't let it intimidate you and do a little bit of experimentation with it. Here I've got a simple PDF with four or five markups in it, and these are just pure standard markups, nothing special about them, and I want to create a digital dashboard out of this. I need hyperlinks. There's two ways of creating hyperlinks in Bluebeam. One is to go to the hyperlink panel and tell it I want to create a hyperlink. And let's say I wanted to create a hyperlink for this text here. I could just click and draw where I want my hyperlink to be and then I would tell it what kind of hyperlink. Am I going to a web page? Do I want to open a specific file or a specific folder full of files? Do I want to jump to another page, place, space or snapshot view within the current or other open document. There's a whole ton of options. I'm just going to use a web page for now. I'm just going to paste in my corporate web page and hit OK. So now this PDF file, notice my cursor right now looks like the pan hand with the magnifying glass icon. But when I move into that general direction, you see how the cursor turns into a hand with a with the forefinger ready to click on it. And if I do that, it will go and open a web tab and it'll open that browser. Now the other way of creating hyperlinks or other type of actions is to select a markup, right click, and choose Edit Action. It's the same menu. You've got the same options. So I would use the same hyperlink and hit OK. Here's the difference. When you create a hyperlink the manual way, the way I did it the first time, it's sort of invisible immediately. When you use the second method of editing an action, it places an action button in the file and while you're in Bluebeam, while you're in the PDF, you have to click here in order for that action to be executed. But don't let that bother you. It's actually the fastest way to create your hyperlinks is to use this method. But here's what you need to know is that before you would release this as a dashboard, you would want to flatten the markups on this document. And when you flatten this document, it will fix this and make it look exactly like the one above. So let's do that. I'm going to go to Document, Flatten, tell it to flatten my document, and now the little lightning icon is gone, and if I hover my mouse over the graphic, now I can see that my hyperlink is ready to go. Plus, the one above is still active as well. So it's not very difficult at all, and you've got all kinds of different options to create a digital dashboard. Now here's an example of one that I did that has a whole bunch of different hyperlinks in it, and this is what I could have done. This is just a standard apartment complex layout, and what I could have done is just using hyperlinks, I could have gone in and every single apartment, I could have created a hyperlink opening that file. So if I click on 5301, it just goes out and it opens the 5301 file and it's right there. I've got my floor plan. I could do the same thing with 5101 or 5201. And I could have a single apartment complex layout with hundreds of hyperlinks to just click there, go get that file. And that would be great. That would be all a lot of people would need. I decided to go a different route and I decided to put hyperlinks on the building indicators like building seven will take me to building seven and then from there I can click on any one of the apartments and go to that particular drawing or I can go to the title of each page and that'll take me back to the home page so I can go to building eight and go back I can go to building four and go back I can go to building five so on and so forth I've also included in each of these building sheets links to the individual sheets within that building with the option to either go back to building five or when I'm in one of those individual sheets, jump all the way to the home page or go back to building five and then repeat the process. I've also got a hidden link here that if you go to the building five graphic from within this page, if you click that, 
I'm doing my favorite thing to do in dashboards, and that's to open folders. Because folders are dynamic. If somebody renames a file, if somebody deletes a file, if somebody adds a file, it has no impact on my dashboard if I'm not specifically pointing to specifically named files in specific locations. By using a folder, I can just jump to the folder and whatever happened since the last time I visited that folder, I get to see the results. So I hope this inspires you to do some experimentation with digital dashboards, and I hope you find them helpful in your use of Bluebeam Review. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful, and you'll review the other videos available as well.